I am, I am Canadian, although with my accent, you guys might think I sound American. I mean, even Americans think I'm one of them. I was giving directions <laughs> to this American tourist today, and when he heard my accent, he's like, oh, you're American, huh? No, no, Canadian. Ah, oh, well, close enough. <laughs> close enough. How the hell is that close enough? It's like you're Israeli, huh? No, Palestinian. Oh, well, <laughs> close enough. <laughs> Do we like Canadians here? Yes. Woo! All right, excellent, thank you. Well, I think we are a pretty well-liked country in the world. But I mean, the best way to describe Canada is kind of like the friendly, fat, ugly chick at an orgy that nobody wants to fuck. <laughs> Large, polite, and always lets everybody inside. <laughs> Except Sven Kramer, he always goes outside. <laughs> No, I do, I do actually live in Amsterdam, and actually today, I almost saw a tourist get killed by a tram. Uh, luckily, at the last second, the tram driver steered out of the way. <laughs> Close. Uh, what is the deal with these tram drivers? I think to even apply for the job as tram driver, you need to suffer from schizophrenia. Because they are assholes to us passengers. But they're so nice to each other. They're always waving to each other. What, are you surprised you saw the other driver? Really? It's like a two euro sixty. Two euro sixty. Two euros. Is that Hans a trap? Hans! 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 I went to tram school with that guy. address this issue, like bring it up at a morning meeting where they're like, listen drivers, drivers, everybody, we're probably going to be seeing each other a lot today on the tracks. Let's just wave to each other now and concentrate on killing the stupid fucking tourists. How you doing sir? You good? Business and decision. Nice! <laughs> I don't know, man. It uh, seems like you got a pretty tough decision to make about the business. Uh, we all have this. Are they all business and decision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's we the point? No Quebec. What's that? We decide no for Quebec. You, you decide for Quebec? Yeah, what is. It can become independent or not. Ah. Uh, that was probably funnier in your head. <laughs> No, actually, I mean, I look, I look pretty happy right now. I look like I'm in a good mood, but I'm not, because yesterday I was waiting for a tram, and I got pickpocketed. I got my wallet stolen. And I was thinking, this is the number one crime in the city. But why? You know, rich tourists? No. Drug addiction? No. It's because the Dutch word for pickpocketer sounds so fucking cool. <laughs> Zakarola. <laughs> Zakarola. <laughs> I mean, it was such a sexy sounding job title. Who wouldn't want to be a Zakarola? <laughs> it's taking the benefits. I mean, it, it's tax free work in the financial sector and you really get to know your customers. I mean, if I don't win the Son of a Comedy Tour, watch your wallet. So I'm sure everybody, most people here probably on Facebook, you on Facebook, sir? No. 
Well, never mind. You are not really the best. Most of the people. Are, are people on Facebook here? Yeah, but I don't really want to talk about Facebook because, I mean, a lot of comedians do it. It's just old news. Do you, do you guys know this game that you play on Facebook called Farmville? Yeah. Like 80 million people work or, or, or actually play this game? I, I saw you rolled your eyes. I, I think you're a Farmvillian, huh? Not anymore. Oh, you were. You went to rehab. And, uh, and, nice. No, but uh, I mean, I don't really understand it. I, I was uh, I was talking to this girl in a bar just last week, and I said I don't know what what the draw is. I don't know why so many people like it. And she's like, No, 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 Neil, Neil, Farmville is great. Okay. It, it, it requires a lot of responsibility, uh, a, a constant maintenance cooperation with others. No, no. Farmville is a real challenge. Oh yeah, it's a real challenge, huh? <laughs> yeah, try working on an actual fucking farm! <laughs> Fuck, just ask this guy. Because he looks like a farmer. <laughs> the other one went so well. <laughs> do, we, uh, do we like to travel here? Uh, Dutch people, you definitely like to travel, right? Yeah. Yeah? I was traveling around uh, Asia last year, and I was in Thailand. Anybody been to Thailand? A <laughs> few people, a few people. So you guys will be able to understand what I'm talking about. Thailand is an amazing place. And I mean, the girls, unbelievable features. Just really like perfect breasts, long legs, big fucking man hands. God. These, these lady boys, man, they... <coughs> They don't have Adam's apples, they have Adam fucking grapefruits! <laughs> and veins on their feet, that's how you tell. They have veins on their feet that look like the mountain ranges on a 3D globe. <laughs> I mean, meeting a Thai woman for the first time is, is like being curious about Australia. You're always wondering what's down under. <laughs> And when you're walking along the streets of Bangkok, all these prostitutes are like, boom boom, huh? You want boom boom? Boom boom. When did boom boom mean sex? It's like, is this an onomatopoeia when a word sounds like the thing it describes? Like whip or whack? Because when I have sex, I don't hear boom boom. I mean, I hear. You done already? <laughs> and after that, I went to, uh, I was uh, in Korea. I was actually teaching English in Korea for a year. And uh, I loved the teaching. And, and one day, I gave my students a, 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 a lesson. And I said, write in your journal what you did last night. So they go, okay. And then one little boy puts up his hand, teacher, I'm finished. Okay, what did what, what did you do? He's like, last night I ate out my mother. <laughs> Actually, Chung Po, you need the word win in there somewhere. Change the meaning a little bit. He's like, oh, oh, yeah, uh, uh, uh. last night I ate out. My mother with my father. <laughs> yeah, close enough. <laughs> and and the, the women in Korea, I gotta talk and just say one little thing about the women in Korea. I mean, they love the white skin. It is a land where the moment they see the white skin, these beautiful, exotic women drop their standards faster than Tiger Woods drops his pants for a restaurant hostess. <laughs> uh, a land where the modern day nerd is treated like a legendary Greek god. <laughs> uh, a land that gives hope and opportunity to lonely, desperate white men throughout the world. You should definitely go. <laughs> 